Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you very quickly how to use GeoGebra to d construct a confidence interval. So I'm going to go to GeoGebra Classic and I'm going to click on Probability. And if you don't see that, you can click on the uh, drop down menus over here where it gives you choices for things like your probability calculator, your spreadsheet. But anyway, go to that probability um, calculator and then instead of distribution, you're going to click on statistic. And if you don't want all this other stuff over here, you can always collapse those, close them, and get back to just what you want. So if you find you're in a screen and you're like, this is not what her screen looked like, just close things out. Um, so here I'm going to click on statistics, and then I'm going to click on uh, Z estimate of a proportion. And I'm going to put in my confidence level. Let's say that I had a confidence level of 90%. Maybe I had was looking at 700 um, and 60 people and of that 680 of them responded positively to a survey or something like that. So then you can see my confidence interval here um, depends on how you're writing that confidence interval. If you're writing it with parentheses, your lower limit, a lot of times they do ask you to round to three decimal places. So your lower limit here would be 876 and then you would just put a, a comma in the middle and your second or upper limit here would be 0 0.913 and that would be your confidence interval given a 90% confidence level with 760 uh, subjects eight, or, and 680 of successes, whatever it is you're looking at. That's what you do. Have a great day.